Bob, help! It dries too fast. Freaking glue. <laughs> What is popping y'all? Today I am gonna follow a Bob Ross tutorial with slime supplies. What better way to honor Bob Ross? Bob Ross is the king of painting tutorials and he's just the king of calmness and collected. So today we are following one of his tutorials. I wanna be in a full Bob Ross mood. So today I actually got a Bob Ross, I think it was a costume. It came with a wig and a beard. I'm not sure if it was like a kid one, but it is a little bit small, my big old head. Hello, I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're not gonna make any mistakes. We're just gonna make happy little accidents. I cannot talk in this. Today I'm following the painting Mountain Ridge Lake. I am a terrible artist. Um, last time I drew a painting or any type of drawing was when I was like 12. I'm not kidding, it's been a minute. Let me get rid of this beard. Oh. Oh my god, did I just add bangs? Oh my god! Okay, you know what? Can I just get rid of it now? I got everything I need for this painting. I actually got really similar paints. Some of them are the exact same paints. Surprised that they still make it now. I got my oil paints and I'm actually gonna mix them with glue because today I'm doing this with slime supplies. We have different brushes, we have a palette. Uh, I even have some slime add-ins that I want to incorporate into my painting, you know, like pigments and stuff like that, beads. I am a little bit nervous. Why is this drying up right here and the rest is like tacky looking? Okay. I think it's going to be really hard because first of all, I've never followed one of his tutorials with regular paint, let alone freaking glue basically. Even just prepping the canvas was a little hard. He makes it look so easy. How hard could it be? But I actually have hope. I do not think this is gonna come out exactly like his, but I'm hoping that it comes close to it. All right, I'm gonna prep my palette before we get started. This is the palette I got. It's not like his, but it's something, okay? I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I also cannot really hold this because we're using glue and it's gonna drip everywhere. So they're already starting to mix together and they're not supposed to do that. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna put this right here on my handy dandy table and we're gonna go from there. Hey, welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. It's a fantastic day here and hope it is where Love the energy. Are. I have my standard old pre-stretch canvas up here and I've covered it with just a thin even coat of Same. liquid white. And the liquid white just makes the canvas wet and slick and so we're all ready to go. It's still so wet. Let's do a fantastic little painting day. Today I want to look wet. I want to show you a very simple little painting that really works well. Just let's do something easy. Gold. Start with a two-inch brush and let's go right into a little phthalo blue. And just touch a little and pull it out, and then tap the bristles. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, um, get under there. Okay. Okay. First of all, it's already feeling like it's like getting a little tacky and. Weird. Freaking glue. Oh man. This is not looking anything, anything like his. Holy crap, it's not blending. The glue is not blending. Bob, help! It dries too fast. There is no blending possible with glue. What the heck is this right here? Is that green? How did I get green in there? I haven't even used... Because you got a little bit of yellow. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is so sad. Come on, I just got started. How? How, how, how? I'm really trying to make this look like his. Maybe if I add more, I could blend more. Oh man, this is way too much now. What am I doing? You guys, I really wanted this to come out cute. It's like, the paint is so, the glue, I mean. It almost feels like there's just no way to blend it. It's like, ah. Uh, hold on, sweetie, just wait. Maybe there's a little water in here. You know me. Shoot, I love water. 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 Still in the sky, honey. Oh, you're joking. Oh my god, what did I do? Okay, that looks blended out right there, kind of ish. Let me just do this what he does. Maybe it helps a tiny bit. 
Now still water is always level. So try to keep your strokes as straight as possible. And pull it from the outside in. That way this is a nice feathered edge here. You don't have a distinct line that you can cut away. The sky needs to come down more. I'm just gonna dip my brushes, y'all. Like this is way easier for me. This is the only way to like really blend it out, y'all. Like. Beautiful this looks. I can see it now. <laughs> and just cover it. Okay, the not doing that. Just brighten this a little. So I'm gonna take the least little, least little touch of cad yellow. Just a little yellow highlight, not much. And then we'll work that in. It'll just make us a nice greenish color. Cat sky and water. See, I told you this was gonna be a very simple little painting. Everybody likes to have clouds in the painting, so I'll show you a very simple way. Class. We're gonna cut this into a one inch brush. This is about two inch, so. I thought this was supposed to be relaxing. His looks so Just throw so it up good. there and think it a cloud will appear. Quick. Looks nothing like it, something, but it's okay. Come you on. have to have a basic shape to work Zoom. with. Zoom. Something. Clouds are very free. Very, very free. Is that the same brush? Like. Go right over it. Tell you what. I am really bad at this. Okay, so my cloud is looking a little rough, just a tad. Can't believe we're not in the mountain yet. I'm just terrified. I actually really want a good painting, y'all. Like, I really want to do something good. I'm not trying to mess this up. You know what? Like, his direction is so, it, gets, it seems so simple. And I feel like it is if you're using the right tools. Just blend the base of the cloud and use the top corner of the brush. And you want to be able to control this rascal before it goes. Right okay. Tell you what, let's do. Let's build us a little mountain. The mountain. Black. Oh my God! Oh God! Okay. The, you know what? Maybe we could cover up clouds with a mountain. So basically, just put in a basic shape, and you decide the shape of your mountain. Let's just make it up. There. Okay. Be creative when you paint. <laughs> oh my God! Fine, it's okay. Try to make some dimension here. What the f what did I do? We just mix all those together. I guess so. Lives, live, yep. Maybe there's a little, little stand of evergreens that lives right in here. It's like crazy. The veins first. You know me. So I'm just doing like lines. Yeah. yeah. See, that dark color will make an instant shadow underneath. You don't even have to worry about it. Now then, let's get crazy. <laughs> right. I love to get crazy too. His blending looks so easy. I think we're about halfway through. Shoot, he's had like a shadow, okay. Mine's just kind of like slapped on. Maybe I should try to do like a line of where the shadow starts. Once again, I need a little paint. There it is. Maybe over here on this side. Yep. Let's have another. Let's oh my god, he's here. drawing another mountain. I can't right now. Okay, I think that's the best. I'm gonna. Mm. This is so hard. This is really hard, y'all. Even with the right tools, I think this would still be a little hard. Okay, he's doing another mountain, so I think I'm gonna do one too. Another big old mountain. It comes down. Big old mountain right, right there. Okay. All right, Bob. This one's got a little bump right here, too. There we go. Barely touch. Whisper. It looks really good on camera. Does it? I did that? Oh, wow. It looks good on camera. Okay. Just tap it in. Okay. Maybe. I think we've done some, I think that's pretty nice little mountains there for color on top okay. of it later. Oh my God. It'll stand out. Yeah, I have no idea what you're doing. Absolutely. It's hard cause like, <laughs> when you mix the paint, it starts to blend, but when you're mixing glue, 
it's kind of hard to blend it out because it just dries up. And there's really crimson. Anything that looks He's using like red. Clean off my knife. Now I learned the first time that this is super thick, crazy thick. Like I probably won't need all of that. Okay. Just some basic little shapes, wherever you think they should be. They just live here and they look back at that big old mountain range and have a good time. Look at that. Yep, you're right. Okay, now it looks like we're coming up on water lines. A little water line right into here. Okay. We're right here. We just about have a finished painting. As I said at the beginning, this is a very simple painting. He said this is a really simple painting. I love that. Put a little dark green on it. Yeah. And we can add just a few little highlights on some of these evergreens. Not a great deal. I want to finish this off with slime stuff because this is all glue, obviously. Which, by the way, I'm not that disappointed considering the fact that it's freaking glue. Honestly, I'm really proud because the slime supplies, like the glue is so hard to work with. Wow, it was almost like a little bit stressful at one point because <laughs> I really wanted this to come out as best as I could do it. Like, I really wanted it to come out nice. I mean, I tried my best. I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty dang similar, honestly. Especially considering the fact that this is freaking glue right now. But I wanna top it off with a touch of me, you know? I'm gonna add some glitter in there, maybe a few beads. I really think I could make it look cuter because let's be real, there is a lot of areas that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so harsh and just crazy. So I'm gonna try to add stuff to it and see if it could look like cuter and maybe give it a whole other vibe. But so far, I think it's great. I'm gonna add some styrofoam beads on the clouds. I'm actually gonna just go back in with a little bit of white and it's literally glue anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap, I am so dirty. I am, have paint all over me, I have pigment all over me. This has been something, all right? My table is a disaster, but I actually was a little bit scared because I really wanted to incorporate like slime add-ins and I was scared that I was gonna completely ruin it, but I love how the clouds look with the little styrofoam beads. I love, love, love how the little chunky glitters uh, accentuate the mountains. I actually like it way more now that I added my little accents to it because now it's like, has a touch of me and I actually think I'm gonna hang this guys. I am actually so impressed looking at the camera I can't believe I freaking did this. I love how all the slime add-ins just pulled it together I actually like it way better with the slime add-ins I really wanted to incorporate them and I was a little bit scared that I was gonna completely ruin it But I think it makes the clouds pop a lot The styrofoam beads really bring out the freaking clouds I mean before it just looked like white blobs now it looks like actual clouds I added some pigment on the sides where the blues at to give it like a shimmery vibe like metallic a lot of moments oh my god i'm just so glad that it's done and i'm so glad that it's cute and that i actually like it because at one point i was freaking out thinking like this is really gonna be a disaster but i love it it took literally nearly three hours to complete comment down below if you've ever done one of these thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye